The CDC is out with new data showing that COVID may not be done causing damage even after it leaves your body. Mike Emanuel has more for us from Washington. As the spike in COVID cases accelerates, we're learning more about the effects of the virus after it's left our systems. The CDC releasing new data on Tuesday showing some 18 million adults, about 7% of the population, suffered from long COVID effects, including fatigue, shortness of breath, and cognitive impairment. Women were more than twice as likely to have long COVID than men, and those who had more severe infections we're at higher risk. Long COVID can occur after any COVID case, including mild COVID cases, but the risk seems to go up with severe COVID. Health officials say the best way to avoid those severe infections is by staying up to date with vaccines. And they're now urging the public to roll up their sleeves for the latest booster, despite a growing sense of vaccine fatigue across the country. That's my sixth one. You know, and I just think it's going to be a yearly or a thing where we all have to just adjust to the new um, strain. It's going to be like the flu. But getting those shots could be difficult. Pharmacies have been complaining about supply shortages since the booster was rolled out. And there's growing confusion about which insurance companies are willing to cover the vaccine. HHS, as you know, is working with insurance plans and pharmacies to resolve this quickly. Look, it's a top priority for this administration to assure that everyone can access this updated vaccine. And the White House is also bringing back free COVID tests ahead of a potential winter surge. You can order those online at COVID.gov. In Washington, Mike Emanuel, Fox 32, Chicago.